Hello everyone, just wanted to give another quick uh, tip on how to use your files effectively and do some PCA uh, scatter plots. So let's take a look today at two examples. So here I've opened two files, one is a marked one and another one is just the gene expression table. Now this is a small example but you'll get the idea I guess. So let's go back over here and let's open up unsupervised analysis. As you remember, PCA draw draws a scatter plot using PCA analysis of your expression values, for example. So now let's go back and let's take a look over here. Now what you see over here is uh, ID of the gene and over here you've got sample names. Now these are cell lines and so you've got these uh, abbreviations for them. But look over here, now we added this other row called group and now you've got this uh, name of a group and you've got normal like, basal, luminal, uh, cloud and low, etc. Now let's check this out. Let's go over here. Let's upload one of these files. Okay, so let's first of all go into unsupervised and let's try without the marked genes. Okay, so let's go to continue, start, PCA draw. Uh, let's change this to 2 and do save and then end. Alright, so now this is going to be PCA draw unmarked. Okay, and let's save this and run this pipeline. And then the second one we will create exactly the same thing and we will instead upload the marked one. Okay, the one that has the group on it. Let's do continue, start. Okay, again, PCA draw, let's change this to 2, and end. All right, now we'll call this PCA draw marked. Okay, run pipeline. All right, let's go to my pipelines, and now you see that both of them are processing, and let's take a look what happens when they're done. All right, now take a look. I already got a notification over here in my mail that these have finished. I can just click right here and I will go straight into download and let's look at the plots. All right, so here's the plot. Let's see, this one, as you can see, already shows the grouping with their name. Now let's take a look at the other one. Let's go to my pipelines and let's go to the unmarked and see what the difference is. So now let's take a, this, take a look at this plot is the same picture but it's got all the names of these files and we don't know which group they're in. Okay, so that's how it's useful. Let's just see them side by side again. Okay, and so you can see what the difference is. You can see that the difference is going to be between uh, group or the same scatter plot but this one is organized and labeled by group and this is organized and labeled by sample name. That's it. Next time we'll talk about how to use this PCA and understand what is inside the groups. How are those gene expressions different?